Yo, what's up crew? Welcome back to the show and we got some breaking news for you, man. This is crazy. Now this guy seems to cannot keep himself out of trouble, but it seems as if Suge Knight was just involved in a very fatal hit and run. Now, allegedly how this whole thing started is Ice Cube uh, posted a picture to social media and he said that, you know, him, Dre, and uh, Game was going to be at Tam's shooting scenes for their upcoming movie, Boys in the Hood. And uh, once Suge Knight got wind of this, you know, he went over to Tam to sort of, I guess, maybe be in the scene, uh, confront Ice Cube and Dr. Dre. Who knows what really happened, but he proceeded to the restaurant. Uh, Dr. Dre and Ice Cube had been left the scene, but sources say that an altercation happened on the parking lot where the movie set was going down. And uh, people say that those two people who got into an altercation with Suge Knight were the instigators. Now, Suge Knight uh, fled back to his car where he fatally struck a person in the process. And the crazy part about this is that the guy who was struck actually came with Suge Knight. This guy actually accompanied Suge Knight here and he was trying to get back into the car and he walked behind the car when Suge Knight threw the car in reverse. Now, not only was uh, Terry Carter fatally struck, but also actor Clee Sloan, who you best remember him in the role of Training Day with Denzel Washington. He was also hurt and he was also taken to the hospital where he has been receiving treatment. Now, after these events happened, Suge Knight actually fled the scene, but Fox News 11 actually reported that, uh, you know, the attorney for Suge Knight did confirm that these incidents did happen and that he was involved in a hit and run and he's expected to surrender to the sheriffs tonight. Yeah, it just seems like, you know, Suge Knight has had one misstep after another. When well, you're talking about the incident at One Oak where he was, uh, shot six times to you know him going to jail with cat williams for basically stealing a paparazzi's camera and then now you have this so who knows what's gonna happen i mean suge knight's attorney is saying that you know he was fleeing his attackers and that's why this happened uh no word yet on who's gonna be charged in this but uh knight is definitely a person of interest but as more become available i will keep you guys updated so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you guys can stay updated on what's going on. And also make sure you share this story across your social networks. But that's it for this one. I will definitely see you guys on the next vlog. Until then, it's your partner, Just Mike. Stay up. Much love. I'm out.